our top local story tonight, a burglary investigation. Police in one local community are searching for clues after a woman says her home was targeted by thieves while she was at work. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where the most recent theft happened on South Wheaton Avenue in Seekonk. And now we've discovered police are investigating a string of similar crimes around town. Eyewitness News reporter Nick Nwosu is live in our studio with more on what she's uncovered. Well, Aaron, the Carroll family has owned their home on South Wheaton Avenue in Seekonk for more than 50 years. They say this is the first time they've ever been burglarized. And police say burglaries are on the rise. And we've learned houses aren't the only target. And then booked it. Tori Carroll went to work Wednesday around noon. She says her sister came home two hours later to find someone broke into their house. They just knocked through this with maybe a bat or something, so that there's a big opening here. They probably stuck their hand in just to turn and unlock the door like that. Once inside, the thief or thieves stole silver, made their way upstairs and stole digital cameras, an Xbox, a Nintendo Wii, games, and a designer bag containing checks and other personal items. The family says the total loss is close to $5,000, not to mention sentimental value. There was like a lot of personal stuff, just memories and pictures and everything, tickets from um, stuff that I did with my boyfriend, stuff that they could not get money for. Seekonk police say there have been eight house breaks since November, but they say cars are the biggest target. Uh, GPS systems, iPods, uh, small change, cash, and people are just going through the cars at night in stealing all that. Police say people should secure items in cars at home and be alert. For safety at home, if you have an extra set of eyes and ears with your neighbors, reach out to your neighbors. Because as Tori Carroll knows firsthand, nothing feels worse than being burglarized this time of year. I feel so violated and it's just sad right before Christmas. Investigators are still looking into this most recent housebreak. Anyone with information on that or any other crime should contact Seekonk Police. Nika Nuosu, Eyewitness News.